All right, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. I snuck away from the RV to come and talk to you, and I will be answering all the questions, and I think this is going to definitely be a part one. Um, there, there will be more questions to come, and this is quite a few, so I'll try to get through them really, really quickly. And disclaimer, I'm in my bonnet because I have a photo shoot coming up, and you probably saw that I got my hair straightened, but um, I have these octocurls in my hair, so I'm keeping it together in here, so this is not how I want to show up. Ugh, but this is what it is, and most of you know me, so. And yeah, this is the baby bump. Let me just show it to you right now. This is it right here in all its glory. And let's jump into it. So one of the first questions I got, and these were between uh, Facebook and Instagram. So one of the first questions I got was about birth control. The person said, this might be too personal, but were you on any form of birth control? And the answer is no. <laughs> I was not on any form of birth control. We have been successfully using prayer and pee pee, prayer and pull out for the last four years. And it's finally caught up to us and a little bit of like tracking and stuff. I think we got a little, I'll get into this more later. There was so much going on with life. I think we got a little distracted with life. Wasn't really doing the, the well, it should be three P's, prayer, pull out and planning, like family planning, but the family planning wasn't working. And I guess Terry's pull out game stopped working too. So I blame him for this. All of this. Each one of them. <laughs> okay. That leads into the next question about accidents. Did you want another baby or was this an accident? <sighs> we all grown, so get a little closer. Come on, get, get a little closer. When you are engaging in intercourse with your partner, babies can and will likely happen. So to pretend that it's like, oh, it's an accident. We, we, we got to stop doing that. <laughs> we really have to stop doing that. It was not an accident. It is the consequence. Let me, let me turn on more lights. Hold on. It is not an accident. It is the consequence of my actions. So let's get that out of there. It's not an accident. None of our babies were an accident. They were consequences of our actions, which is intercourse. And that's just the way God created the body. Form and function. Male and female come together and, you know, woo, kids. That brings us to the next thing. Kids. Number of kids. How many kids, I've had several, this acts several different ways. How many kids do you want? Are you having more babies after this? All done or more? The answer is, and I'm just going to be really honest, and I know my kids are probably going to watch this one day. Um, <clears throat> we really didn't want kids. And Terry will tell people that at first, but you, like I said, consequences of your action. He just didn't feel that in the world, the way the world is going right now, that we should bring a child into the world. But then he started thinking, then the enemy wins kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's exactly what they don't want. They're going to keep procreating bad seeds. So why not combat that with some good seeds? So we want as many kids as we are capable to take care of. And so far, God has proven that that is four. <laughs> so, so we want four kids. And if that changes or if, yeah, if that changes, then that changes. But for right now, that's what we're, we're going with because... And I'm going to tell you this, you, you know, if you've been following me long enough that I have been like, oh, I don't want any more kids. But now I'm starting to sound like a crackhead that I'm like, no, I don't want any more kids. And then it happened. So I'm just kind of embracing. That's the season that I'm in right now, embracing whatever God wants for us. Okay. So as far as the next thing is about names, if you know our family, we're pretty transparent. My oldest name is Jabari. This middle child is Ross Tafari. And we have Safari Rose, okay? So all of their names in with Ari, all of them have African meanings. And we are looking for an Ari name. We do not know what we are having, which was another question that I got. And I don't even think I wrote it here. We do not know what we're having. So likely we'll pick out a girl name and a boy name and some alternates and give it a few days to see which one resonates most, like, like gender specific, if it's a male or female. And also like whatever just works for the child. So that's the answer as far as names go. Um, when when is your due date? So I don't know if there if other cultures are like this, but Haitians really don't like sharing their specific due date. All I can say is that this baby is due in the second quarter of this year. Um, I feel like I'm getting pretty close. I saw my midwife today, and she feels like I'm just carrying low, and I'll be all right. And I've had like you know Braxton Hicks contractions, so. The baby will come when it is ready, aside from what due date I was given based off of ultrasounds or measurements. So I'm, I'm, I've never been one to be like, oh, 
oh, the food aid, and like get all flustered about that. And um, that leads into why did I wait? And I guess it's part, part of it is a cultural thing, and part of it was a season that I was in. If, uh, you're, if you recall, in um, July, I lost my aunt. She was only 38 years old. So I was still dealing with the emotions of that when I found out. I was like in denial. I felt all the symptoms and I was still like, mm, 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 <laughs> this is not what it is. So I waited until I felt comfortable. And I think that most people understand that. I just, I, I wanted to be in the right space. And it's a lot of emotions and things to deal with, with carrying a baby. And in another video, I'll tell you that there, there was another question that came about being nervous. Are you nervous about having a heart? Okay. Why did I wait? So it leads into this next question about being nervous. And um, at, at my age, I'm 35. And some people feel like I'm older to be having kids. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay before I let the whole world in. And there were some things that worried me. There were some complications. There's things that still, till right now, that I'm like, okay, we're playing it by ear, which leads into this next, are you nervous about having a home birth? Um, and was this, has this been like my hardest pregnancy? I'm 35. Each year, each day I get older. So of course this has been my hardest pregnancy just because my body is not what it was when I was 27 <laughs> and having my, 26, 27, having my first child. So my body has changed significantly. So this has been the hardest pregnancy and, um, my placenta is anterior, which is, might be just TMI. So it, it comes with its own set of issues, which I'll probably do in a part two. If you end up having questions about what that means and I have... I had placenta previa, now it's kind of shifting upwards. So if you want to learn more about that, let me know if you have any questions and I'll do a part two to include more answers on those specific things. Next question. So yeah, I was, I, I was nervous. This has been harder. I'm still nervous, but hopeful, prayerful. So that's like my biggest thing. Um, I know that some people want to know, am I going to do another Facebook Live birth? Because if you followed me, you know that I did a Facebook Live birth with Safari Rose. And the answer is I will, that's our plan, to do another live birth with you. But we're thinking about being on YouTube, on the, on the channel. And if it doesn't end up being live, it will end up being like our full birth story will be shared here on YouTube and nowhere else. How is homeschooling with while being pregnant? Some days it's good, some days it's not. And I'm thankful for the freedom to be able to have some days that are good, some days that are not. And dealing with still being a parent and pregnant, it's, it's, it's a lot. So. Those are the questions. I try to answer them as quick as possible. I did have another question box that came up where I was asking you, um, is there anything that's like embarrassing or that you wish somebody would have told you about? And I think I would talk about those in another video, but someone said raw nipples, vaginal pain, allergies, change in your smell, the folk schedule, traumatizing hospital. And if you know, my last pregnancy was great. The birth process was great, but it was traumatic after because I couldn't birth the placenta, but I'm going to share all of that in another video, but I wanted to answer all your questions in one spot in part one and stay tuned, follow, subscribe, so you can be part of the next discussion. As always, reward yourself every day by making greener lifestyle choices. Check out the pregnancy, birth, and baby playlist and what YouTube thinks you should watch next.